Hello, it's good to see both of you on this call. For the people here who are watching and may see this on our website, I am speaking to Pastor Harlan Feliz in Samana and Simona de Pena, uh, also in <laughs> Samana. Many people who have traveled with us to Samana know both of these uh, folks and their families, and maybe we'll see some of their families uh, on this call. But uh, I've been trying to touch base with people that we know in many places and let you give us an update on how things are going in your country, how, how your church is managing what you are doing to minister to people in this time. And I wanted to uh, say hello to both of you, let you know that we are praying for people everywhere and that includes you and uh, ask you how things are going there in Samana. So, uh, talk to you a little bit and uh, let us let us uh, know how things are there and how we can pray for you. Okay, Pastor. Bien, él dice que es bueno estar en esta comunicación con nosotros y será un de gran placer poder luego mostrarlo a los hermanos que han venido aquí al país. Y que también él quiere saber la forma que estamos haciendo para ministrar a la iglesia en este tiempo en el cual estamos pasando. Muy bien, quiero en primer lugar enviar un saludo al pastor y su familia, a los hermanos allá que en Estados Unidos que siempre nos apoyan con el trabajo, el cual los extrañamos muchísimo y de una manera muy especial. Queremos decirle que por lo menos estamos realizando los, los servicios vía, vía WhatsApp, de manera que los hermanos se mantienen eh, activos. No hemos perdido, no hemos dejado de dar los servicios, sino que lo mantenemos activos. Ya te sabes la dinámica que estamos haciendo, de manera Ajá. que los domingos, los domingos en la mañana damos los servicios y en la semana tenemos un itinerario de los de las programaciones que tenemos para para todos los hermanos para así mantenerlos motivados. Amén. Y a las 3 de la tarde las oraciones. Amén. Pastor Key. Yes. Okay, first of all, Pastor Helen he wants to send a a greeting to the church, to the all the people that has been here in in Dominican Republic. He feel grateful for you that you are interested in us to know how we are doing to minister the people. So every week we have a program. For example, from Monday until Friday, we have prayers at three o'clock every day. People in the, your house, so they pray, we connect each other through WhatsApp and Pastor Helen, he sent the message, Pastor Azoila, they send the message to connect people, to pray. And also every, uh, every week we have a dynamic program where we can pray also, we can celebrate the service. And um, also we are studying the Bible. So last night we, the Pastor Helen has the Bible study, we, we are studying the, the book of Genesis. We are in book, in chapter five, chapter six. We are studying the Bible and we, we, have, we have not stopped. We are continuing working with the people, with the church. Also, um, last week, Pastor Helen and a group of sister and brother we went to help people, to bring a food, to bring what we have to, to some people. And the church is working, a soap, a water. So we, we, we hasn't stopped, we are working. And also uh, we have a, a group, uh, the name of that group is Mission, Mission St. Peter where Pastor Helen and a group of sister and brother, we are collecting uh, food, collecting clothes, collecting many stuff. Then we are going next week uh, to bring to the people that has a, a needs. This is what the church is doing in this time. 
Very good. Bien, también nos mantenemos llamando por teléfono a los hermanos para saber qué necesitan y a la vez cualquier visita de lejos, por lo menos le, le extendemos la mano para saber las necesidades. Hay una pareja de, bueno, el haitiano Daniel, que lo llamé ayer, me dijo que debía dos meses de casa, que no había podido pagar, de manera que yo tuve que ayudarle para pagar la renta y compartir las comidas, los alimentos, para que él se pueda ayudar. De manera que compartimos lo que tenemos para así ayudar a algunos hermanos que tenemos. Ok, Pastor Key, also we are calling the people, uh, we call them by phone, we ask them how are they, if they need anything also, if we have it, also we can supply. For example, we have a brother in our church, he is the person that plays the guitar, he, he doesn't have any money to pay the rent of his house, and then Pastor Helling, he has to pay for him. So what we have, so we help the people, Very even good. if it's not from our church. That's great. Uh, Pastor Harlan, I see an arm behind you from time to time. Would that uh, arm belong to uh, Zoila? What did you see belong to uh, Harlan? Behind Pastor Harlan, yeah. that hand right there. <laughs> okay, yes, I also, I, I saw a hand. I don't know if it was Zoila. Where is Zoila? There's Zoila. For for all of the Americans that are that will listen to this, um, Zoila calls me, she, she renamed me. When I go to Samana, she calls me Pastor Chinola. And that sí. is because there is a fruit <laughs> there that uh, they make juice from. And it is my favorite juice. And she makes it for me uh, all the time that I'm there. And she was just talking about Chinola. So I'm, e even my Spanish caught that. <laughs> <laughs> yes, yeah, she said that she has uh, the, the, the Chinola is growing up when you come back. So you will receive a, a lot of juice of chinola. Sí. <laughs> Mucho jugo. <laughs> and, and I saw Virginia back there somewhere. Is Virginia still there? Sí, Virginia todavía está ahí, que ya él la vio. Hi. Hi, Pastor. Hello. Hello. <laughs> and Carolina, is she around? <laughs> no. no, Carolina, sleeping. Sleeping. <laughs> <laughs> well, for those of you that do not know, Pastor Harlan and his family, uh, Virginia is their oldest daughter, and Carolina is her younger sister. And uh, I, I've known them uh, long enough to be able to uh, uh, have a little fun with them, mess with them if possible. And uh, Virginia speaks uh, English pretty well and so I can, uh, I can pick on her just a little bit and I enjoy that. Um, how can we pray for you right now? Oh that will be awesome if you can pray for us now. Okay. Yes. What, what things can you share with us that when people see this, they know to pray for certain things? What, what, what things would you like for them to pray for? Okay. Pastor Helen. Sí, le escucho. Okay. Él le gustaría que nosotros eh, en este momento le diéramos como un listado de algunas cosas que nosotros queremos que él orara por eso. Y la okay. iglesia allá también. Okay. Okay. Eh, podemos orar, sí. Eh, por los médicos. We can pray eh, for the doctors. Uh, eh, militares. Uh, Polista. Polista. Sí, las familias de las iglesias. For the family that need help. For the community sí, la, that la comunidad es pobre. don't have nothing. Sí. The poor community. Okay. People will hear that and I'm sure that they will pray. And uh, Pastor Harlan, sí. you are 
working your way through the book of Genesis, and I am encouraged to know that. We have done that in our pastor training school, and it may interest you to know that I am teaching that same course in a church here in the United States, here in our area. And as we are going through that course, we are recording the sessions and putting them in our online learning platform. And I will put a link up on this video uh, about how people can find that. And if you want to um, direct people there, if they speak English, they can they can look there and avail themselves of some uh, additional materials on that book. And you're very welcome to do that. And uh, we'd be glad to help in that way and make that available to people. Uh, is there anything else you'd like to share with us? Okay, Pastor Herling, él dice que él le da mucho gusto escuchar que estamos estudiando. Bueno, darle las gracias por su preocupación y por siempre mantenerse atento de cada uno de nosotros. Pedimos que oremos por los proyectos que tenemos parados para ver si para el próximo año, con la ayuda del Señor, podamos continuar con los trabajos que tenemos. Amén. Pastor Key. Yes. Okay, Pastor Helen, he say, uh, I would like to thank you, Pastor Key, because he is always uh he's been kind and very attentive with with me with the church and always glory to know about us and we would like that you can pray for the project that the church has for next year to continue working in the project of our church very good for all of you americanos that would be muy bueno <laughs> <laughs> Gracias. And I am looking forward to being able to be with you, and I hope that that is not too far away. And uh, we will certainly be able to keep track of that. And as soon as it is possible for us to get there, uh, we will make arrangements to do that and uh, hopefully uh, bring uh, a, a friend or two with us and uh, resume our work there. Uh, that that God is allowing us to do in Samana. It, it is good to see you. I'm glad for us to be able to talk. This is the first call where I've had to to use the, the translation time, but it's uh, it, it's it's very good, and I thank you for doing that. Anything else you want to share before we go? Thank you. Yes, thank you. Gracias. Gracias. We will keep praying for you and also for your church. We will keep praying. Thank you very, very okay. much. That's a good thing. All right. I appreciate okay. it. Adios. Thank Adios. you. Thank Bye. you so much. All right. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.